I'm back with another video and in today's video we have Acer Niche Pro or Acer Nitro 5 laptop. This one is an Acer Nitro 5, the exact model is an AN515-52-738F. I'll leave that information right on top somewhere over here. Alright, and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add the RAM and how you can find out your maximum RAM capacity for this one. This particular one came in with our client and we have pumped it up to a 32 gig, which is really sweet spot for this laptop. So you don't want to go 64 gig. If any of it was possible, that's overkill. It's not gonna, you're not gonna see performance after 32 gigs or so yeah, unless you really need it. If you want to check your maximum RAM capacity, I'll leave that link in the video description. Check that link and you can see based on your model exactly what's the RAM capacity you can have here because I, in this exact one on the Acer website, they said like, I know maximum you can go 16 gig, but it's not true. We have upgraded to 32 gig and it works perfectly fine with no problem. And just remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything's gonna be the same way that you left it before. So let's get into it. First thing first, power off the laptop completely. Once you power it off, in this laptops, you do not need to disconnect, open and disconnect the battery. The battery is right inside here. That's why they give you this two service cover to do the job. You don't need to go inside and disconnect the battery. Let's go inside the BIOS before we do anything and see if there's an option to disconnect the battery, which I really doubted on these models. But again, you don't need to. I'm gonna tap on F2 or see if which one is gonna get me to the BIOS. Yep, there we go. Inside the BIOS, we have 32 gig installed right now. You're gonna go here, you're gonna see F12 boot, 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 and nothing regarding the battery in here. Advanced, nothing, security, nothing, and boot, nothing, exit, nothing. So, on some Lenovo, some laptops, they do give you an option to disconnect the way, cut off the battery, but again, you don't need to. It's not necessary. Once you power it off completely, the line to the CPU, to the RAM is cut off so there's no voltage in there so you cannot damage the board so make sure you power it off don't put it on a hibernation anything like that flip it upside down grab yourself a good screwdriver set i'll be using an ifix screwdriver set from this set we're going to use a phillips number one and what we're going to do simply we're going to remove this tiny cover right in here square cover this is what i like about this laptop they do actually give you covers but there is still one cover that's missing for the hard drive that i'm really annoyed what if they give you these two, but they don't give you the main one? Anyway, so you're gonna remove this screw and you're gonna put the screwdriver underneath and just grab it with your hand and pop it up, bring it up. It just has to be with a force. Once you bring it up right now here, the RAMs are in here. If you have an old RAM, just remove it. To remove the RAM, all you wanna do, you wanna put your fingers on the side of these triggers and pull them away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you want to do, you want to grab it and drag it back in the same direction that it was lifted. Don't bring it toward the seam. Don't lift it up like this. Otherwise, you're going to break the dim on the RAM. Just slide it the same direction. That's one. So this is an Acer brand 16 gig. Again, pull it away and slide it back from side to side. Again, another 16 gig from Acer. You can put Crucial brand, Samsung brand, in whatever brand you want. As long as it's a DDR4, you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about the branding. You can mix match the brand. You can, if you have an 8 gig, you can put a 16 gig. It will work fine, but it will be dual channel up to 8 gig. After that, it will be a single channel. It is recommended to have uh, same brand, same capacity RAMs to better performance uh, and compatibility, but you can mix match them with no problem neither. So, all right, so to put the RAM in, all you wanna do, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim. So if I try and put it that way around, not this way, that way around, the notch will not match. So it will not, no matter how much I push in there, it will not go through. So in 45 degree angle, we wanna push it inside the dim, Nicely push in and then simply push it towards the motherboard with not much force. You want to see these two triggers open and close and make a nice, sweet click sound. Same thing in here. Flip it. Doesn't matter if the stickers are on whichever side or the RAM chips, as long as the notch matches, 45 degree inside and nice, sweet click. Once you're done with that, all you want to do, you want to put the cover right on top and you want to put it right there and then push it down really hard on the sides and it will click in. 
Now, just a tip before you guys panic. Once you power it on, it might take five to 15 or even 30 seconds before it shows anything on the screen because it's gonna do a mem check. It's called a memory check to check your uh, RAMs. So in order to do it, so don't worry if the keyboard turns on, turns off a few times, just leave it be for 30 seconds. If after 30 seconds, it's still you don't get anything on the screen, then you might wanna power it off, switch in the RAM places, just put the bottom one on the top, on the top one on the bottom and try again. To do, and once you do this, it is going to boot up and it's going to work fine. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you guys like this video, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.